All right, it was a little windy over there by Highland and ended up uh, casting, got only about two or three shad, then we decided to just stop over there at Branch at the uh, famous Half Pound Burger place and pick up a couple of, um, or a box of uh, night crawlers, so we had some bait. And now we're back over here at Bretonia where it's definitely less windy. And uh, in fact, this is where we got a, a nice size one, one year. And uh, we got a couple in the John boat who are out there getting some more shad, because we did find some over there in the shallows. And you know, surely he's gonna try uh, using the fly rod here with the kayak. Um, what what I normally like doing is go put a set over here by this line, and then go on the other side and put a set, and then see where they're biting. And then remember, we we got some good ones shallow too. All right, it's excellent right now. There's this glass or not glass smooth, but uh, definitely calm waters here, and. Uh, I got a set of the jug lines, so I'm gonna put in some uh, some worms on them. Okay, so here's a worm here. Here, we got jug line deal here. So let's just get that over the side, just to stay out of the way for us. And we'll kind of get it to where we can get to the hook here. And since we're using worms, we're just gonna use a whole worm. Put it, just kind of thread it right on there. And. Uh, since the wind is pushing us this way, we're going to set the line so it goes away from us as we let it release it. Alright, first one is out. Okay, okay, we'll just kind of set this one about maybe 10 yards from the other one here. Ready to go. Two out there. Okay, so we've got a set of three with night crawlers. And then we got another set of three over here, right over there. And those all have um, shad, fresh caught shad in the cast net. And then there's a, a long spread here of more shad. So let's see what happens. Okay, so while we're all set up here waiting for a bite, might as well do some kayak uh, trolling using the uh, fly rod here with our setup. There's the Denison Dam Dauber right here. Got the tube fly, so a tandem rig, and we're just gonna toss it off to our left. This time we put a, a little sinking tip uh, just to help it uh, sink a little bit more. And just kind of set it here and paddle around, get some exercise, and at the same time, maybe catch a fish or eventually catch a fish. Ah, <laughs> well, no go on the uh, fly rod. We did some trolling with it so far, and so far, no hits on the jug line either. So, whoo gonna be a brutal one uh, right now we're just kind of repositioning things moving it from uh, shallower to deeper water and we'll play it by ear all right it's uh, been a slow go so far but uh, haven't struck out one on the jug line so far we've gotten one definitely on there then we had one that was on there a really nice one and lost them though are bringing them in so getting a hit right now on one and yours truly is gonna check it real quick and see if we got him actually he's turning on us <clears throat> He turned. He's still on there, I think. Okay. Yeah, he's on. All right. We got one. Yeah, he's he's. I don't know yet. It it was loose. Oh, he's a keeper. All right. It's like the other one. All right. Got two. Oh, he's still there. Oh, he's taking it under. Okay. The other one held it under when he ran. Alright. Well, uh, let's see it. Let's see this boat maneuvering. <laughs> Is it any good? Is it going? He's like the other one, isn't he? No. Oh, he's bigger? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah, the other one's head was like twice the size of this. All right, sounds like a blackened catfish. Cool beans. Okay, so our fishing buddy's got uh, one. Yours truly was able to pick one up and just redeployed that jug line. And just got a hit on this one. Not sure if he's still there, so I'm going to go and run and just check it. See if, uh, 
see if we got anything or not. May have took it. Just come up on it quick. All right. Oh, oh he took it. Man. All right, so rebaited uh, two of them, deployed them. Now we're going to go check out the one that was getting fishy. So let's kind of walk up to it and see what we see. Did it move? You got one? Oh, he looks small. All right, so uh, one finally took on the magenta jug line with the night crawlers on it like a channel cat which we expected all right so we've picked up the jug lines and oh it's time to uh take a count of what we got on the stringer and i'm going to call it quits so here's what we got oh yeah nice looks like one two three four five six with one channel cat and five blue all right good stuff all right Thanks for uh, joining us today. Until next time, we'll catch you all there, and good luck and good fishing.